Welcome in everybody. Wait, let's make sure the banner's not playing the background. Welcome in everybody. I do apologise for the little bit of lag. Tonight we have got the Witchy 101 Back to Basics. And it is show two tonight. So tonight, guys, we are going to be talking a little bit about the different types of witches that they are, the different types of practices that people find themselves in that maybe not everybody classes even as witchcraft. So we'll cover a lot tonight about the different ways of witches, if you like. So uh, for the people that do not know me, my name is Andrina. My friends call me Drew. My witchy name is Athena. For the people that don't already know that. And I kind of found my journey, I think, 2017. So this is our lesson for us all, these classes, really. So I'll let the other ladies introduce herself. I have got my beautiful sister, Willow. Hello, guys. So I'm Willow, also known as Sherry on my paranormal channel. I've been into witchcraft since quite young. And I'm just really looking forward to being able to teach you guys. And hopefully you're going to learn a lot of things. And hello, everybody. Uh, my mystical love and light. What about and mystical? Hello, everybody that is in the chat. Um, I, of course, too, have my own channel. And I also do paranormal uh, workings. Some people call them spells. I call them workings. And do oils and powders and all kinds of uh, things that I use for my workings. And also, I show people how to do that and empower themselves. Thank you for coming in. Yes. So we've, we are all kind of established in our craft now, I would say. Right now we are all at a place of growing as well. So when we are, they typically say that there is a maiden, a mother and a crone. Okay, so I kind of had my maiden days way back when I was a teenager. And then my mother days is basically when you're bringing up your kids. And then your crone phase is really when you're going into your older ages, maybe above 50, and you're settling down into your kind of final path in life, if you like. So right now, I do believe that we are, are all at that shift. So it's a great time to try and help all you guys as well because we are all still trying to establish ourselves in life. And you never, ever stop learning, guys. So it's a journey. So let's welcome everybody and sisters. Yes, we've got Phoenix. We've all got? We've got Kirsty, Phoenix. We've got <laughs> Stephanie. We've got Cherry, Kathy. Who else have we got going hey, up? Guys. We've got professional paranormal research. Hello. Oh, we've, we've got, got PPR Christina. as well. Welcome in PPR. Places to Christina. And I Hello, think everybody. That is everyone so far at the yeah, minute. Quite a few. Hello, everybody. Yes, definitely. She looks Hello. awesome, doesn't she? She Sherry is channeling her inner Lydia. If she starts saying Beetlejuice three times, I'm out. She looks awesome. <laughs> Well done, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> she looks amazing, guys. <laughs> we were just talking before the show saying that when Sister Sherry and I meet, we're going to be full witchy dress meeting up in the railway oh, yeah. station. So it's going to be awesome, guys. We're going to dress talk. like this. I'm oh, sure I'm going to have so some witchy. people running, but there you go. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're at the right place Welcome as well, because in London, Welcome in, Iron, in London, they've done that area for Harry Potter hey, to go hi. to Hogwarts. So it'd be perfect coming off with your witch hats yeah. and stuff. And everyone would be like, well, we're going to Hogwarts, mate. And I've got, got an through the wall. <laughs> and Leah's in. And I, and I do in, have a Hogwarts and invite. And Curtis is in. Hello, Curtis. Hello, Mr. I got Lee. this for Liam. So, yeah. sis, I've got a ticket already. You need to get yours. Look, I've got my Hogwarts ticket. I'll see. I need one as cool. well. I need one. Yep. Yeah, I'll get you one. Uh -huh. I'll try and find another one and I'll get you one. Remember, one guys, space. that when you pass your test as a witch, you can't walk into the wall. You have to run in it as you'll be getting bunk bumped right back out of it. So you've got to run towards the wall. Look <laughs> right. at Curtis, brother. Yes, you need to run here. So it'll be awesome. So... Welcome in everybody. I hope you are all enjoying the classes already. As you know, this has been a great journey for Sister Sherry and I. So we usually try and 
have fun as well. So if anybody wants to say anything in the chat, we've already spoke about this behind the scenes. If anybody wants to say anything at all, even in the chat, definitely say it. If you think that if you think that we've not covered something in one of the teachings, then you guys have got a place to say as well. So you can say, I think you maybe need to add this, and I will put it up on screen and Sister Sherry will see it, okay? So let's kind of start to, because there is so many, isn't there, sis? There is, yeah. I've got... Yeah. It was either, it was either 44 or 45 different types of witches that I'm going to read through. Obviously, if Sister Mystical or Sister Drew wants to add anything, they'll just say, Sherry, stop a minute, and I'll stop, and they'll add whatever after I've finished the sentence. Um, then, obviously, after that, Sister Drew's going to talk to you about how you can follow people to learn more, and Sister Mystical is going to talk as well. I thought Sister Mystical was talking first, weren't she? What was Sister Mystical going to be talking about? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, I think this. Yeah, I think that's maybe better. So that, yeah, you explain a little bit about that, Sister Mystical, because I think that's important first about the different. Okay, so kind of before we get started, uh, since they're going to be talking about the witchy end of everything, that's what this is all about, Witchy 101. Um, I just wanted to throw in there, since I use the title of spiritual person or holy spiritual person or being, that some of you going through all of this might want to, uh, if you don't feel like the word witch resonates with you right now, that's perfectly fine. That probably will come in time. My husband keeps to asking me if I put a spell on him, the witchy part, since I actually go by spiritual. But feel comfortable with whatever title you want to give yourself. So as they get into all of the different kind of witches, just remember you don't have to give you a, yourself a title if you don't want to. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's fine because everybody, everybody is different and they have their own reasons. So I was just going to throw that in and, and as they were fixing to get started. Yeah. Thank you yourselves i think it's important no people know that yeah i think that yeah. is important and not every person that does yeah. magic i mean because I, I I spell spell some of them are not witches mm -hmm. at all that cast spells you know what i mean but they do follow mm -hmm. certain mm -hmm. practices just to take information and advice from them they just make their own sort of thing you know what i mean but mm -hmm. as we go through you're establishing what you want to yeah. be I'm going to read you out the 45, it's 45 witches with basic out. information, then a bit of information with a bit more detail about the more up-to-date witch um, that are known. And then we'll, we'll go from there. So I'm just going to bring up the stuff because I, I have wrote it all down onto the list so I could read it all out to you because it's just so much easier than trying to remember 40, 45 different witches. Okay, definitely. <laughs> Right, we've got so, an hour and a half, guys. This is plan. Oh, before oh, we start, have you got your pen and paper? Anybody that wants to take yeah, notes? Pen and paper, guys. Make sure you write everything down. I will be posting the names when Sister Drew starts talking the name of all of the different witches as well, so you can go back and write down what you miss. So let's start with this then. Yeah. Are you a witch? Yeah. The answer yeah. can only be answered by you, which means wise person. Are you interested in energy work, finding enlightenment and learning traditional traditions of the old ways across the world? You could be a witch then. Signs that might signal a calling to witchcraft can include a deep connection and compassion for nature and wildlife, occult or dark arts interests. Do you have heightened sensitivity to the methodological these are all strong signs you may just be a witch what kind of a witch am i unless you are a head hereditary witch who has your craft handed to you by an ancestral line meaning family line then your path is entirely up to you to choose labeling yourself as a witch comes after quite a bit of research and practice discovering your own unique magic within you becoming a witch can mean being in more than one category in your craft 
Below are 45 types of witches listed. There are many types of witches and their interests in the craft is getting very popular. Okay, so then going into, I will now read your list and you see if you relate to any of the types of witches I read out. Type in chat what you think. Different types of witches. Alexandrian witch, a witch who practices the magic founded by Alex and Maxine Sanders in the 1960s with a focus of ritual and ceremonial magic. Then you've got the angel witch, a witch who works with angels rather than or in additional to tradition deities such as gods and goddesses. So they don't work really with them, they work with the angels and stuff. Animist witch, a witch who believes there is life in all things and sees no distinction between human, plant, animal or material object. The animist witch sees the universe as a living entity and all are connected by it. Art witch, a witch who uses art as the medium of their magic. Audrey witch, a witch whose divine omens, signs and symbols. So they work with divine energy, omens, signs, symbols and things like that. Anis Moody witch, a witch who studied the core idea that there is a central pillar that joins earth to heaven. British traditional witch, a witch who focuses on the superstitions and spells that originated in the British Isles. Then you've got your Celtic witch, a witch who focuses on Celtic and Welsh deities, mythology, rituals and earth magic. Ceremonial witch, a witch who practices high magic ceremonial such as hermetic, <clears throat> femaletic and entheme with a raid and step-by-step -step method. Chaos Witch, a witch who has a contemporary practice that incorporates many types of magic and is guided intuitively rather than with strict steps as seen in higher magic. Kathanoli Witch, a witch who practices a variation of the Alexandra traditions, which also includes Greek gods and goddesses. The Coraline Witch, a witch that practices a type of wicca founded in the late 20th century by Carol Caroline I. Coral. She descended from a line of Cherokee, Dignan Wysigi, who intermarried with the Scottish traditional witches. And the Caroline witchcraft was further influenced by the Ar Aridun witchcraft and the spiritualist church cosmic witch a witch who focuses on astrology and the placements of planets stars and moons when practicing their craft crystal witch a witch who focuses heavily on crystals in their magic dianic witch branching from wicca dianic witches focus on female deities dianic the dianic witchcraft is named after the Roman goddess Diana, ruler of hunting, nature and the moon. Electic witch, a witch that incorporates many different traditions into their craft, slightly similar to the chaos witch, but they may follow strict guidelines if desired, which means they, they sometimes may follow a, a specific um, religion that they bring into it and things like that. There may be certain rules that they stick by for their craft. Then you've got the Egyptian witch, a witch who follows a path similar to Wicca, but with a focus of the Egyptian deities. Elemental witch, a witch who works with five, the five historic elements, earth, water, fire, air and spirit. Fairy witch, a witch who works with the Fae, rooted in Irish and Scottish culture. Folk witch, cunning folk, predatory witches who follow a path similar to British witchcraft and used their magic and skills for practical purposes which were passed down through generations 
non not common these ones are not very common but there are a few about Gardenarian witch, a witch who practices a secret formal and higher structured version of Wicca based on the works of Gerald Gardner, who is credited for the modern witchcraft movement. You've got your green witch, a witch that uses gardening and herbalism in most of their craft and often focus, focuses on healing, work and earth magic. The Hearth Witch, a witch who focuses on magic in the home. Hedge Witch, a solitary witch that holds both kitchen and green, green witch attributes, such as making healing potions and brews in the kitchen. Think of the old woman in the wood, uh, in the woods arch type. So the like, old lady in the, you know, and now she would put all her bits together. Hellenic witch, a pagan witch who worships the ancient Greek phenomenon of gods and goddesses. Hedetary witch, unique in each family, a hedetary witch learns from their ancestral line. Kit kitchen witch, a witch who focuses on magic at home, especially in the kitchen. A left-handed witch, a witch who often breaks taboos. A Luciferian witch, a witch who believes Luciferian as the bringer of light, a reverse the, uh, the angle of the Enlightenment, independent, questioning, authority and progressive ideas, nothing to do with Satan. Lunar witch, a witch that heavily uses the cycles of the moon to do nearly all of her magic work. Music witch, a witch who uses music as the medium of her magic. Neo-pagan neo witch, an umbrella term for witches who practice newer forms of witchcraft such as Wicca, Gardenesminium and all new earth-based customs. Norse witch, a witch who centres their craft around Norse traditions of ancient sorcery and deities such as Odin and Freya. Right-handed witch, a witch that practices magic that is guided by social norms. So anything in life that might be going on or you might see something on the news, it drives you to do something to make something better, in other words. Satanic witch, a witch that lives by the seven satanic tenets and is strongly against the construct of a dictatorial society, has nothing to do with the worship the worshipping the Christian idea of Lucifer, devil worshipping does exist elsewhere under the broad realm of witchcraft. Neither is exclusive to one another and definitely not to this one. It's nothing to do with worshipping the devil. Scandinavian witch, a witch who practices and studies Danish folklore and some Norse traditions. You've got your sea witch, a witch who practices water-based magic and usually lives in a coastal area. A water witch works with lakes, rivers, streams and obviously the ocean, but it's not just at the ocean. They do work with other elements of natural sources of water. Circular witch is a witch who practices magic without worshipping any deities or they have deities and they keep the deity worshipping and the witchcraft separate. They don't like to use it together. Shamanic witch, a witch who uses an altered state of consciousness to deliver their magic. A signal witch, also known as the word witch. These practitioners use signals and words weaved into their magic. So like drawing down different pictures, different symbols, things like that. Solitary witch, a witch who practices alone rather than in a coven, somebody that likes to make their own magic, their own way, and they don't set or follow any sort of rule. Tech witch, a witch who does most of her or his work digitally or with some form of technology. This will become more relevant, pre relevant over times in modern witchcraft. The Thelma Witch, a witch who uses the occult philosophically founded by Alistair Crawley, which centres around ceremonial magic and Egyptian ritual. 
Wiccan witch, a witch who practices the modern pagan religion of Wiccan, introduced by Gerald Gardner. Note, Wicca is a religion. Witchcraft is not a religion, although can be involved in religious beliefs and should those be allegedly protected equally. So they were all of the actual names of the witches. So now I'm just going to come down and give you some of the basic known witches and a little bit more about them. So you've got your solitary witch, a witch who works about and under their own stream rather than with a group of other witches. A solitary witch can follow one particular branch of witchcraft or a combination. Hedditary witch, just like the name sounds, hedditary which is someone who has inherited the power or their practice through their family line. Think practical magic. Crystal witch. Crystal witches are deeply connected to the vibration and the powers of crystals, gems, rocks and stones. And they are practiced, they practice crystal magic to manifest, amplify and attract energy. If you see auras, feel energies, love shiny things and enjoy making grids, then you may, you could very well be a crystal witch. Cosmic witch, the stargazers. Cosmic witches are all about astrology and astrology. And they are legally uh, largely focused on the lunar energies of the moon cycle and the spells that amplify or protect against celestial events. They are clued up on star signs and birth charts, but their practice is active, not passive. They seek to change energies by using their knowledge rather than just telling you that Scorpio are sensitive. If you feel drawn to the skies above and enjoy the science why complexes of the working of the universe, you could be a cosmic witch. A green witch. These magical workers are all about nature, healing and nurturing. They draw the power, tools and rituals from the earth and the great outdoor and use plants, flowers and herbal preparations as a primary source of spell ingredients and rituals content. Green witches respect nature above all else, although many other types of witches work with nature too. If you feel drawn to the natural world, have a gift for healing and soothing and enjoy gardening and tending to plants and herbs, you could be a green witch. The hedge witch is, a very, sim is very similar to the green witch, but is not as solely focused on nature. A hedge witch works alone and doesn't endure to any strict dogma, religious, spiritual or otherwise. Hedge witches develop their own kind of magic, focusing primarily on creating healing remedies and often working with the elements, nature, craft and herbalism. Everything is kept simple and basic and all rituals are non-fussy and minimalized. If you are drawn to solitude and wise to the craft and wise to craft your own brand of witchcraft unique to you, then you might be a hedge witch. Then you've got your planet witch. Light green witches, plant witches work with plants. Their practice might focus on the connection with nature. They may study the history and traditions <clears throat> and the cultural associations of different plants and herbs, as well as use them in rituals, potions and spells. The grey witch, very important this one. Grey witch is stranded, is straddled the divine between white and black magic using whatever suits the situation. They will use curses and hexes when in the situa when a situation calls for it, when many witches will not go there. Witchcraft typ typically follows an ethnic of working for the higher good. Grey witches typically seek justice and the correction of unfair circumstances, redirecting bad energy to where it should have gone in the first place. They will often call on the unseen spirit presence, presences to help them. If you are drawn to the dark arts or feel you're fighting a greater evil in the world, maybe you're a grey witch. Grey witches are not bad people, guys. Okay. 
electric witch a little bit of this and a little bit of that electric witches tend to cherry pick whatever practice rituals beliefs or ideas feel natural and good to them in the moment after all witchcraft is a very personal and unique pursuit if you don't want to be tied down to any one practice or area maybe you're an electric witch many baby witches begin as an electric witch but many stay that way too folk witch a folk witch practices folk magic passed down through their family or through their local community they often focus on the history and the origin of a practice and may work with plants and objects that are native to their location a baby witch this is what some of you guys will be are simply beginner witches they may start out following a certain witch practitioner or spiritual practitioner dependent on their teachers and then over time experiment with other practitioners of the craft they might they make their own path by learning and growing in their craft kitchen witch as a name suggests a kitchen witch focuses on the focuses on the kitchen they incorporate magic into their cooking and baking and they might choose herbs for their magical properties just as much as for their taste kitchen witches might prepare meals for specific holidays purposes or rituals to share with their community or coven the hearth witch focuses on home and might also be a kitchen witch and or a green witch hearth witchery often involves focusing on on objects and rituals used around the home like herbalism candle magic and ritual cleansing house witch similar to the hearth witch a house witch focuses on making their home a magical space think cooking cleaning and performing hormonal rituals wherever you prefer to be called a hearth witch or a house witch or both it's really up to you ceremonial witch this witch is also all about dreams of a ceremony they focus on ceremonial magic or high magic which often involves more elaborate or specific rituals that ev that than everyday magic certain deities chants signals and and signals and they may follow a religious belief that they use in their practice sea witch have a special connection to the ocean they might practice water magic use sea water in their rituals bring seashells home for their altars and pay special attention to the moon because it controls the tides after all also they also work with lakes rivers streams and any source of natural water the lunar or the moon witch is someone who draws upon the energies of the moon in their magic practice just as the moon governs the tides mm -hmm. of the ocean many believe it influences the energies within and around us this makes the moon a powerful ally in spell work rituals and even in understanding our understanding ourselves better going on to um the next part of that key characteristics of a moon witch intrusion just as a moon has its phase a moon witch often has an in innate sense of ebb and flow of energy and emotions in themselves and others and their um cycle awareness moon witches attune themselves to the lunar cycles understanding the distinct energies from the new moon promised to the full moon's columbination ritualistic many moon witches have specific rituals for each moon phase harnessing the unique energy it brings and that is the end so there is 45 witches and some more detailed information on the ones that are more known but I hope that has gave you some idea. Please feel free to write down, guys, and just do a bit of research, guys, to look into the names. I'll put the names in in a little bit. Excellent coverage, uh, Sherry. Thank you. Took a lot of writing. Brilliant, Sherry. Thank you for doing that research. <laughs> amazing. Well, yes. Kerry, Kerry has now said, I'd much rather say beginner than call someone a baby witch when the first 
coin through the everyday talking about at your babies, yeah. I get that. It's not really nice, isn't it? Yeah, well, so that's hands, a little but... bit about all the different types of it. He's... Yeah, you know, a lot of them do get a lot of them do get called beginner witches. A baby witch is just a name that they brought into the into the craft. It just symbolizes it's not somebody that's not acknowledgeable, but somebody that's learning and needing to be guided a bit. So they call them their baby witches. But yeah, you can say beginner witch, whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah. From the time yeah. that someone it just considers depends. themselves. And also a witch. had a question from Curtis. Curtis, we will address your question in a minute. What was that system, Mr. Cole? I was going to say, from the time that someone okay, starts thinking or considering self, themselves a witch or a spiritual being, they've already been practicing without even their knowledge because it always comes natural first. And then you start realizing you. what you're doing, and then you start questioning if you are and what type that you are. Yeah, and you'll find that in the craft as well, like some of you guys are already witches, some of you may be coming in thinking about it. And as you go through our shows with us and we learn you more, you might sit there and realize that you've already been doing a lot of this, like Sister Mystical mm -hmm. said, and you think, hang on, I just need to brush up on that a little bit more. And that's the whole point of these shows. And this one today, like we'll explain what we want you to do for the homework at the end of the show, but it's really important that you do it because it will help. Yes. So it will help guys. Yeah. I resonated with a lot of that. Did you guys resonate with oh, a yeah. lot? Yeah. yeah. yeah I felt That's like why I, I put I myself know the, uh, electric, which yeah, I'm a bit of eclectic. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And I think you this guys will end up that as well because remember Welcome, you Ray. start off with all the knowledge and then as you're going along, you kind of put that into practice. So typically we all are a little bit of each, I would say. You know, what about you, Mystical? What kind of witch do you actually class yourself as? Are you eclectic as well, or do you? I know Phoenix I, is definitely resonating with the yeah. angels. I mm. I consider myself eclectic because depending on the situation at the moment, what I'm working on can be from five mm. different types. The next day I can be working on something and it be from five or ten other different types because since I've done this my whole life, technically, yeah. I mean, seriously, my whole life, there is mm -hmm. not one part that I can say that I am because depending on whether I'm pissed off, whether I'm in a good mood, whether I'm doing something for someone else, whether I'm bringing healing, praying, whether, you know, I ask my guides, guardians, ancestors, whoever, it's always a different situation every single day. So the eclectic I use because I'm not set for one certain type. A lot of people are, yeah. but I've done it for so long, just like Sherry. I think, Sherry, that's what you consider yourself, do you not? I am, yeah. Yeah. Because we do, we've done it so much our whole life that that's kind of the only way we can group ourselves in, other than using the word her. You, she uses the word witch. I use the word spiritual being. It's all really the same thing because you're doing the same thing. Yeah. And I'm throwing that in because if I don't, Sherry's gonna throw it in. <laughs> yeah. We all know what I think of you, uh, <laughs> mystical, and uh, being a she spiritual likes. person. She's a witch, but yeah, spiritual being, guys, to be nice. Yeah, it's just a matter of what yeah. you call yourself. Yeah, it's just, it's just a laugh, and guys. What you're comfortable yeah, with. And what yeah you're comfortable because with. since I do so much for other people, yeah, the word spiritual seems to resonate more with the other people, even though they're asking me to do the mm -hmm. same thing they would ask someone that calls themselves a witch just for peace yeah. of mind it's easier on them than anything else i guess yes. and me. yeah <laughs> and i am only winding system mr co-op when i say that stuff to her that is just our little yeah, of course, guys. Yeah. 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 and i think it's cute because she's all there <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 i love her i do love look, her look what sister yet. christina she, said no, there you go. She's, she's not, <laughs> she's a little Sister Christina says well. she's a little herbal magician. <laughs> her herbal magician. 
I'm telling you, you're pissed off today. She what definitely is, guys. Honestly, wait, please. You need to check her channel out, honestly. Uh, she she like, teaches everybody so much about everything. And, and, and guys, she also follows you for her own ingredients. You just have to watch her if you're at the beginning of your journey because she teaches you how to go foliage, how to make your tinctures, your oils. It's just, she's amazing. That's why she was the glue that was going to hold us all together because she's already oh, yeah. been walking this path for a long time. And I'm not meaning that yeah. to make you sound old. <laughs> yeah, no, and, and I do get that. I get that completely but, because I've done a lot of my work and stuff, but my oils was something I was really dreading. But since talking to Sister um, yeah. Drew and seeing that Sister Drew can do it, and I had some help from Sister Mystical to understand the charts and that, and now I'm well on my way to hopefully starting some oils now. So it's really good. Yes, she's and I've got, yeah, she's yeah, on got it now. And I've got some amazing true. books coming down as well. So that's going to be really good. I'm going to enjoy yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really book good. coming. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mary, yeah. darling. Welcome, in, Sister Luna. What is so I think, doing? Oh, I think we all resonate with those. No, it's okay, so that's you go just speak if you want to speak. It's fine. I, I was just going to say, when it starts getting warmer, then I'll start getting back into showing how to do a lot of the oils and powders and stuff like yeah. that. Because right now it's so freaking cold in here. I mean, it's actually below freezing in here because this door stays closed and the door that I have, uh, all of my backup long-term food storage stuff, it's all closed off and it's just it stays way too cold in here to do any kind of workings or anything like that right now but the weather has to start getting warmer i don't want to Definitely. freeze in the middle of it so and it's okay keep watching <laughs> it's okay to not label yourself you don't have to label yourself on that you can still be interested in in the well if you're into like the cycles of the moon then you would be known as probably like a, like the lunar or the moon witch. But you don't have mm -hmm. to say that you're a lunar or a moon witch. You can just mm -hmm. say you're a spiritual person that works with the moon. It doesn't mm -hmm. really matter how you say it. And I think Mr. Kind of hit it on the planet. head. We are. Yeah, that's exactly it. And we are all different types of witches, guys, because as Mystical mm -hmm. says, we use a different type of practice depending on what we're doing. So, you know, I, I know that a lot of the time, um, people feel as if you need to put a label on yourself. But honestly, you don't. And don't feel the pressure of that either. Just enjoy the process of learning about it and learning about yourself because I'll teach you so much about yourself when you really do start going through the work and looking back as well. You'll realise a oh, lot yeah. of this you have been doing all your life. I always back myself out the door. Because I always felt as if I backed myself, if I walked out the door front-wise, I was kind of taking all my energy with me. So when Liam was small and I stood at Wood Park, I always kind of went out the door backwards. And it was more because I didn't want to leave him than anything, but it was kind of in my eyes leaving that loving energy with them. And then I found out that it was a witchy thing. So you will find these little things out. Yeah, you'll find a lot of stuff what as you go along that will surprise yeah. you and you'll be shocked by. But it's that's the whole point of this journey. It is a journey and it's yeah. learning and, and going along with it. And it's so it. amazing, so amazing. But you've got to be dedicated, guys. That yeah. is one thing I will say to you. If you're going to yeah. put yourself in... We were trying to figure out what we could do. Be dedicated. You know... Definitely, guys. And no, we were talking a little bit about this before the show, and we were actually saying that there's there's ways that you can there's this things that you can sit and think about, guys. About and this is going to be like kind of part of the homework, but I'll mention a little bit about it just now. The the reason that you're doing this, okay, is very important. So part of the homework is going to be sitting down and really thinking about why you want to take this path. So when I was going through my journey starting, the reason that I put down that I wanted to take this path was for confidence, empowerment and knowledge. And, the re and also the reason behind it was the confidence was for direction and focus. I needed confidence within myself 
in order to feel I, I was worthy of a lot of things, worthy of going live, worthy of even being allowed to talk to the spirits. Am I worthy enough to take this path? So that was a big part for me was finding my confidence. That's yes. Empowerment as well was a big part. I needed empowerment. Yes? While you do that, I'm going to put the names in the chat. Okay. Okay, thank you, sister. Um, so I need a lot. I needed the empowerment because I didn't have any money. I didn't have any abundance to offer. So I needed the confidence within me and the empowerment within me to feel as if I had a future. I knew that I wasn't going to be a rich person. I knew I wasn't going to have like a big business to run or anything. But I needed a focus. I needed something within me to go on in life. So that empowerment was a big part for me. The knowledge. I really wanted to understand. I wanted to understand where my family went when they crossed over. I wanted to understand why some people can see spirits and others can't. I wanted to understand where's my notes? Happiness. I wanted to understand the the way to be happy. I never I always had to think of this in me. Um shit happens and then it happens again and then it happens again and then it happens again i always kept saying that shit happens and then it'll happen again it'll happen again i wanted to go over that i wanted to feel i was worthy of happiness so they were my main three reasons for taking this journey guys and you kind of it's different for the ladies because they were already born into this but for the people that's not born into it and just want to take this path Definitely reach in within you and try and figure out what you want out this way of life. What is it is going to give you as well? So think a little bit about that. You can add anything you want, sisters, as well. Just speak when you want. I was just going to say, too, for any guys that's in the chat, yes, you can call yourself a witch also. I've been asked that question before. If you want to call yourself a witch, by all means you can. Just because oh, you're yeah. a guy, it doesn't matter. Female or male, you're a witch. If that's what you're into. Yeah. Yes. Hey, Cam. Remember, the word witch is really just meaning uh, self-empowered. It really just means that you've found something within you that's connected to Mother Earth, to Mother Nature, to the way the winds, to the way the colours to the way of it also means, the um, elements and things. You're going to learn so well. much if you do the homework, honestly. It means wise person as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the... Yeah, for sure. It, yeah. Guys, the stuff um, that I'm but putting it's in the just about up, finding... The stuff that the long names you're seeing in the room are all of the names of the witches that okay, I have Kim. read out today. And at least you can go up the list then and you can maybe research and study the ones that you think are most alike to you. That will help you to understand more about your faith, what you're going to be and get an understanding. OK. So I'm just putting all the names in. Hey, Drew, when you get a chance, put up Danny's uh, la second to the last comment where it says. I know which, LOL. Yeah, no. Pups is a charm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to jot down any of those, let's definitely jot them down. We've got plenty of time for the show. Okay, thank so you, just, Christy. I'm just going to put Uncle Danny's links up. So definitely jot down a couple of those names if you want. Oh, I was just, Drew, I was referring to his comment that he put. It was just a funny comment. Definitely. Not. Uncle Danny. All right. Okay. They, I thought you meant his link for his channel. No, Uncle Danny is a spiritual guru. He definitely uh, has. Another, another one further up. Further up. It says, I know which, LOL. Bit of a grump, LOL. I'm no witch, lot. <laughs> get, get of a grump. <laughs> 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 I know what really is Uncle Danny when you think about it. He's just he's just a really spiritually connected person. I don't well, know if you can even really, call him a shaman. Yeah, he's a shaman, but he's he's just a all round 
spiritual, yeah, he did. It's, it's, spiritual. it's, it's a just, spiritual. It's helped, it's helped everybody so much. Don't it's forget it's that uh, Curtis asked the question way up yeah, toward the beginning. It's a good way of putting that. Yeah, I've got it started. I've got it started. Right, we'll address Curtis's question, guys, okay? Right, let's put it up on the screen. So Curtis had asked, is it true that a witch can change human form? What do you think, ladies? Um, my experience is if you're a, a native shaman, as in some of them practice like a lot of bad stuff, um, Danny can probably put in the terminology in the correct words, but that's mm -hmm. where they say the skinwalkers and all of that comes from. We'll ask Uncle Danny again Danny when he comes up one night. Yes. Yeah, um, I yeah. think... I, I do believe they I can. I think they can do in spiritual form. Like, we're witches. Some of us do astro project or go to places um, and you can change yourself into other sort of forms i guess but it takes a lot of work to be able to do that and like sister mystical said you're normally involved in some pretty hardcore stuff to uh to do that they're the names hi baby yes i've got i think that's something for the more um practices that doesn't really get down much your road <laughs> put it this way it's i think it's dangerous to to dabble and all that and it's i think it's kind of dangerous as well that people want to do that i mean why would you want to you've got to ask yourself that question why would you want to transform into something else you know right let us see has anybody else got any questions before we kind of move on and start discussing right so so all in of them are in the, there now, guys. All of the names are in there. And as I've just said, there, there, what we are. There's the names. Try to research and find the path that suits you all. That's all I can suggest to you. So you've got all the names in there now. Just go onto your Google or look in books and they'll give you lots of information and stuff to find out. Because obviously, when you're going into this and you're trying to work out what sort of witches, it's really good to look into the sorts of tools they might work, how what elements they work with, what's you know, all of the different things that's really going to link you into your craft. So you need to read up everything about the craft, not just the name, but what they practice, what they use, how they are as a character, where they their favorite places are to do their magic, stuff like that, mm -hmm. just to get you a bit of an idea. Okay. Curtis. We need to maybe talk about that one night when we got you up. Right, Uncle Danny said what? Called transposition. Right, okay. So it's called transposition when a witch does that. Thank you for that, Uncle Danny. Kerry said. Baby. It wouldn't say physical, but in a trance, right? Okay. Well, guys, just remember when, as Sister Sherry just said, when you're going through the list on your own, think about what that person really does. Think about if it's something that you maybe potentially want to do, um, and then kind of note that down that that's what you're aiming for. Um, there was also other things that I found was really interesting. Uh, when I was going through the, the ways to teach people and the ways to help you connect was try and live every day doing these three things, okay? So every day as a spiritual being, we are living to try and push people, push our family forward, push each other forward as sisters in our group. But we as who we are also try and help empower other people that's the heads we're doing these classes. So in order to live a certain way, it's maybe what helps me especially to stay who I am. This is what I kind of try and live by each day as I go along. I try and live with kindness in my heart. I also try and live with integrity in my heart and also passion. You know, the reason that we do the kindness 
the reason that we do the kindness is so if you if you imagine yourself you're really in a bad place okay you walk you you don't feel that good within yourself but you're walking down the street and you, you see that reflection in somebody else that they're also having a bad day smile at them and in the instant that you smile at these pe people you will internally feel that smile as well so in order to keep feeling a kind of warmth in your heart even if you're on a down mode we live by always trying to be kind to other people and that helps empower us so the other one is integrity the integrity is a word that's really you live in a place of pride you start to feel that you're worthy of your peers integrity is that type of thing where you're wanting to feel unequal to somebody else you want to stand tall that's kind of what integrity means so in order to live a day by day feeling integrity, when I was going through this, I pushed myself, in my notes it says, I pushed myself to go on Uncle Danny's live. So at that point in time, I must have been struggling with my confidence a little. Maybe I was feeling a little bit un not worthy of being up with Uncle Danny or something. So that day I had to really, really push myself to feel the worthiness of it. And by the end of it, I really felt empowered. That was in my notes. I pushed them when I pushed hard on it, made them empowered me. So that's a good one to live by is integrity. Always try and feel equal to somebody else, you know. Uh, and then there was passion to live a life of passion, it's Thank to you. help your heart. Thank you. It's really to help your heart. If you live every day with passion in your heart, passion to do better, passion to help somebody else, passion just to go on some days it's really hard to get out of your bed for everybody guys everybody so when you start living like this when you start living in kindness living with integrity living with some passion in your heart you will automatically feel different this is what's going to start empowering you to feel your true inner self start mm -hmm. living a little bit by this each day and this is where you're going to change this is where your mind is all going to start changing you will also at this point, you no know, guys, remember your shadow work will start creeping up on you. So I want you to tell me, when you start living like we do, with kindness every day, integrity, passion, when you start living with that in your heart every day, pushing forward, your mental health and things will also start changing. Your shadow self will maybe start trying to creep back up. Don't be shy about that, guys. Tell us straight away because we can help you with that and we will cover the shadow work in the next couple of weeks. So try your hardest to live like that. Is there any news guys want to add? Sure, I wanted um, to say thank you for typing all of that in. That was a lot of typing. Yes. It you, was, sir. but uh, you know, it's really, really important to make sure that it gets out there properly. Like we are going to educate you the right way, guys, and there's nothing to be scared or fear, okay? We know what we're doing and we just want to help you guys there. And uh, on from on to uh, sisters, bit um, I very much agree with it. You know, you do need to to have an understanding, and sometimes have something that you can shadow, and maybe take some sort of advice and stuff from. That's why these sort of shows are really good because you've got people that you confide in and trust in already. So you've got people you can come to and talk to, including pups and other people as well. Um, the, the 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 fact is is if you if you guys are here because you are really f seriously thinking of taking this on then all, all of these things that we're talking to you about and we're educating you about are things you really do need to take on on board because to be a witch and to be the way or a spiritual being or whatever you've got to be comfortable and be at all with yourself you've got to have an understanding for who you want to be what you want to be how you want things to work what your specific working areas are going to be. All of this is really important. Like before you even consider starting your crafting and doing all your spells and that, you've got to know who you are in yourself. And mm -hmm. you've got, like, one thing I'll say, the main thing that, like, the main abilities in doing the craft is hearing, seeing, and feeling. You need to be able to feel because you need to be able to feel when things are coming towards you. You need to be able to see when vision or insights being given to you. 
and you need to be able to listen because believe it or not sometimes when that little niggle voice in your head talks to you that is your your energies and guides talking to you it's learning to be in tune with yourself to be a witch you need to be in tune with yourself because those three factors are going to be your main workings in your in your craft and you need to be on that because that's also the way to communicate with your deities and energies you're going to be working with even if you don't want to worship a god or a goddess but you believe in the universal energy you've still got to have that connection with that universal energy you've still got to be able to feel and hear what that that energy is telling you so it's very important to find yourself spiritually and understand what you want to be first because once you know that that's when they will listen because obviously they're taking notice of you now but when you know where you're standing and you know what you want you'll be able to say to your energies I want you to help me in this and I want you to help me in that because I now know that this is the sort of witch I want to be or the spiritual practitioner yeah. I want to be. You know, it's all about knowing yourself and knowing what you want to be first and always going in for the right reason, like we said at the beginning. Mm -hmm. You have to have a drive and a passion to be. Hey, in the, there's got to be something that drives you to it. Yes. For a reason, you know what I mean? There has to be. Mm -hmm. So... Don't ever be afraid of it. Just no. take in yes, what you guys. want to take in and just take your time. Hey yeah, don't be afraid of it. It's, an, it's, it's a truly amazing path to be yeah. on, whether you're a witch or you're a spiritual being. Don't be afraid of it, guys. It's the most phenomenal mm -hmm. and eye-opening thing you'll ever experience in your life if you're serious about so, it. You feel so much inner peace. It is so freeing. It is so... Every day, guys. I had a... The other day there, I usually get up, I let them all go to work and then I come straight down here and I light my lights and things up. I don't usually light a candle unless I'm sitting in here, but I will light a candle up to say good morning to Hecate and thank you for being here and for me being here another day. And then I'll snub it out because I can't sit in here all day. But the minute I do that, I feel empowered for my day. And that is because I know then I'm going to live a day through really, really being happy, really, really trying to help somebody. I always try in my day to help at least one person, even if it's the same person yeah. over and over. And then feel also feel empowered by it. Don't do something for somebody because you want to feel the backlash, the empowerment of it. Do it because it's truly your passion to help other people. And the minute you start living your life with the three rules of passion, integrity, and also the, the knowledge of knowing that you can do this. I wobbled so much yeah, when I first started. But you guys need to get into You can do it, I promise. The best thing I can describe that part is is don't don't do goodness and love to gain you don't do it to gain you do it because you care yes and because that's what you want to do you don't you don't do something for someone because you expect something back you don't do that in this faith you don't expect anything back you know you, yes. you work amicably and together you give to yes. each other you respect each other that and it's no different in human form with other people I mean, do it because you want to, not because you expect something yeah. back. It's not the right way to go. Just yes. stay honest and true to yourself. Yeah. 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 That's it. That really is it, guys. See the voice that is always in your background, in your head? That is your subconscious. That is basically who you have to take the empowerment from. A lot of people's grow up believing that that voice in your head is your is your your um like an echo is something like you don't listen to it. don't listen to that that's going to make you do bad but it really is your subconscious it's the thing that's in you that has your higher it's good it's your, it's your higher self you can start yeah you can start speaking that sister Sherry, mystical wants yes. to say something i was going to say Sherry, Try your has day. a question for you Yes, your okay. Sherry, can you talk a bit more about what you were saying about? Okay. I'll put that up on screen. You were saying about needing to know yourself first. How do I get there? Sherry, can you talk a bit more about what you were saying about needing to know yourself first? How did I get there? How to get there? How did I get there? 
Well, there, there's a lot of ways that we can do that. Like, obviously, some of me and mm -hmm. Sister yeah, Drew and yeah. Sister Mystic all know that we've all got different issues and problems. It's finding yourself spiritually, okay, and being comfortable with the element. It's going out and experimenting in different places. Which places make you feel most connected? Which places really take your mind off to that place where you could really connect to the energies you want to connect to? Um, obviously, in a lot of this spiritual work, there's people that have got everyday issues going on that they need to come to terms with. So in our classes we're going to learn you about doing such things as shadow work because for some of you you really need to go quite deep to get rid of maybe trauma and problems that you've gone through to be able to have a clearer picture but if you did it's just being in communication with yourself and listening to what you need taking notice of the voice that speaks in your head taking notice of the things that you hear when you've asked certain questions and stuff like you might lay there and ask them and suddenly you get a voice in your head or you'll hear something that just gets said into your ear but it's in your mind these are, are all telltale signs they're communicating with you and even feeling it mm -hmm. you might get a feeling or emotion that comes over you that really rep represents what you've just asked about take notice of them write down all of these things as well because it's really good to write down what you experience because it will help you through the working line to understand what you're supposed to be doing you'll find elements that that you you're doing and you'll find elements that will become more clear from doing those elements so it's being in connect with yourself so go into places that like nature or like try in nature then try with the sea try being in your home and being in a quiet space work out how you feel comfortable connecting work out which incense candles and things really radiate with you when you're doing your spiritual opening doing forms of meditation and meditating on wanting to to have advice and have vision asking them to come to you there's so many different ways that you can find yes. yourself it's, it's being connected and wanting to do that it's taking five ten minutes a day to sit down and go and I, know you them and I know you start that you that way. i'm ready i'm what? ready please show me give me a sign give me a sign but you've got to learn to listen to see and to feel okay if you can't do that you're going to struggle okay so you've got to you've got to learn you don't have to be spiritually open like me to yes. feel those things you've just got to be conscious and aware of it once you're conscious and aware of it you can you can read into things that are being said to you start do with your meditations. voice and your dreams Meditation. Med meditation will bring out yeah. things for you. Listen to that Some voice. Do the meditations. Yeah, Sister yeah. Sherry's the amazing one up just now. I'm going to grab that link. Hey, Sister Sherry's meditation two settings. Because it was a good one, guys. The one she done the other night, there was a really good one. I sat here and done it, and it really, really took me to a place where I actually started feeling like a, it was the first one that really basically worked for me. I've started to feel as if I was on a hillside oh, full of like it was either lavender or some little purple flowers. And it was it wasn't like a normal day, it was kind of like a brownish day. It's weird to say that, but that's what it looked like. And Should I thought, I wow, what? I've actually received I've actually got a place <laughs> that I can meditate. <laughs> Shadow work's not complicated, Sorry. okay? It's but it is very heart feeling and it does get deep, but it really does help you to focus and to be able to come to terms with maybe demons we'll and things that really, that really well. affect you. Because the more you're open and you accept your fear, the more stronger you can become, the more open you'll become, okay? So shadow work is really not a nasty form to do. It's It can be scary in the form that maybe you've got to relive some of maybe your past and things you didn't mm -hmm. like, but you have to bring that root of evil up to remove it okay or to accept it and to be able to face it i've had to do it sister drew's had to do it i'm sure sister mystical's had to do it i'm sure yes. loads of people have had to do some form of shadow work you have it's not to been keep funny. doing it as well Counseling, psychology all of these are forms of shadow work mm -hmm. okay it's, it's finding it's, the conscience and bringing you'll out always have to do it. yeah yeah it's kind of like when you yeah, this is going uh, to be sister sherry's link okay it's kind of like when you're trying to figure out what signs, is it a sign, is it not a sign? If you just kind of visualize a portable radio and you're trying to tune in to a certain channel, 
and you're hearing all of this static and stuff and you're trying to listen you're trying and you're not making it out but you're trying very hard once you hit that channel everything comes in clear it's kind of like that throughout your life of trying to listen for that channel and you're going to catch bits and pieces until one day you're like oh my god i'm there it's not going to yeah, come it gradually fast, opens. it's just to it teach gradually yourself. opens yes it's not going to be something that you're going to start doing and it's just going to fall on your head and you're going to be able to do it all it gradually opens to you it's you learning to to yes. see that feel that and hear that writing everything down guys Honestly, that's how I started to connect. Yeah. It's just try to love every day, being kind to somebody, feeling integrity and feeling happy exactly. and feeling worthy of things as well. Try and love your day like that and try and not let anything negative infiltrate your barriers. If something negative comes in, you deal with it. You say, okay, that may be an important situation. I will deal with this after I go through this 10 minutes I'm having to myself. I am worthy of this 10 minutes to myself. Tell yourself that as well. If you need to take time out of your day to focus on your mental health, essentially, take it. If it's something that you're able to do, well, and try and live your life by certain rules. Sorry, Cecil, you know. Sister, like Sister Luna, like you're saying, I, I, I'm not done with mine, believe me. Exactly. And I'm not being funny, but getting over your demons takes a lifetime it's being able to accept it and face it okay and we're always going to have little challenges and things that come back in is how you focus and how you put that to rest you know what i mean like we're not saying that doing shadow work makes your problems go away it just makes mm -hmm. you be able to face them and not to fear them okay so then it becomes more positive Ooh. because you see a more positive outcome for it so just doing that and like pup said his shadow work it's about facing them head on the and facing it and that is what it is it's facing it and not being scared of it we've gone all our life being scared of what we're feeling and we finally yeah. can accept it you know what i mean so it's a good thing to like, do like Drew when, says, you, when you do go through the shadow work guys remember it's a, sorry when you go sis. i'm just gonna say like drew says take time for yourself i personally i've never ever done shadow work putting a shadow book together grimoire together pertaining to the shadow work but in in hindsight when like when she says take time for yourself when when the kids were you know a lot younger living at home and stuff for me i would tell them don't anybody talk to me my brain is shutting down i don't need anybody talking to me for 15 minutes that right there was me like not meditating mm. but getting my yeah, exactly. self, my mm -hmm. thoughts together and that was me doing that in that way even though i yeah. technically never put anything down on paper that was me doing it in my head for nobody to come in talk to me nothing yes. let my brain shut yeah. down and be within itself to do what it needed to do before i decided okay i'm ready to to, you know handle the, the next thing, that is the thing with it that is the thing with it it's not all about getting really deep and having to talk about it all the time sometimes it is just doing meditation and taking some time out for yourself yes. like the sisters are saying and realizing that you need that little bit of you time and in that little bit of you time giving yourself a bit of self-love making yourself feel that you're special and important asking your energies that are around you to come in and to help you and to guide you all of this is what they're there the chart, Phoenix. you don't have guard guides and people for the fun of it they're there to help you ask for them you know what i mean they will help you yes the shadow work is about blaming people as well don't go physically be blaming them like you did this on a piece of paper if there's something in your life that you haven't essentially dealt with then that's going to creep back up. It's going to always be there in the background. It's always going to be there to stop you from moving on or feeling confident or whatever is going to stop you, and it's always going to be there. So it's really important for your mental health, your psyche, even if it's on paper, write down what the situation was, analyse it, figure out whose fault that it happened. Even if it's your fault, you've got to name yourself in it. 
Yeah. Yeah. Understanding where it all went wrong, what happened in that situation that that got that high, and guys, you'll find that once you draw a line under it and move on, that it'll never creep back up. And then every situation that comes up that from then on, do the same with. Write it mm -hmm. down, figure out in your head who's fault it was. See if you keep living back like that, and then living with the three rules of being happy, trying to help somebody every day. Gradually, these things start to work. Believe me, it happened for me. It Trust the process. It does. Honestly, you're human. You're all human, guys. You need this time out for yourself and stuff like that. And don't think if some of you still have like bad days and you get down and that, that means that you're not doing it right. That's completely crap. I still have my down days and bad days and days where I want to be left alone. It's okay Ooh, to do that. It's that knowing means you are doing it right. Up and you can face hey. it and deal with it. That's what it is. It's getting back up and facing and dealing with it when your head's the right place to do so. You know, it's not about... Yes. Oh, I can't be upset anymore. I can't feel anymore. Of course you can. Just know how to get out of that. See, that's where people walk away. Don't walk yeah. away. That's you getting over the hurdles. Mm -hmm. Honestly, with, it's important. Adventures with Beth says it good. You need to learn to forgive yourself also. If you've you screwed do. up in life, yeah. know that you're a person, you're a human being, and you're allowed to screw up. But the main thing is, is did you learn from it? And then go yes. from there. Well, apart from you, pups, obviously, you're yeah. astro. You're the overlying elemental energy. So, yeah, well, I wouldn't even say that any of us are human here. But, yeah, we are. In this world, we've been cast as a human. So we all need to... Men were all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle's on men were all of us, guys, is the male energy. He's on my or is he really? He's on there? mine. He's got. I've got his little. I think he's little on yours as well, sister. Share that. I've got that on there as my shaman thing. <laughs> he's like right there. <laughs> he's gonna have his little statue and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Steve oh, Harvey? It's Harvey's badge like a... on the male crystal, the male candle. Yes, what well, I have, my badge, See? yeah. Yeah, next to a candle on that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Representing my shaman my, side. May I take my empowerment from my Uncle Danny. Yes, he's so important, guys. He's a level of the people that don't know who Am I supposed to know who Steve Harvey is? He's, he's here in the United it. States. He has, like, a game show thing and... He does like talk shows and he um, he talks he's a, a lot of oh, he's a radio personality Beth soon. Yeah, he just he's kind of well he yeah. he's well known, that's for sure. So he's a lot on TV and I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Sorry. Yeah, what Family Feud. That's a, that's his game show host. If you look up All Family right. Hughes. Family Feud, you'll see him. He's got yeah. two versions. One, Family Feud for TV, and then one he puts on YouTube that technically can't be put on because he has no control of what the game host, pe the people are going to say. So if it's something that they need to put on YouTube, they put it on YouTube instead of the regular TV. <laughs> right, okay. So, uh, it, so, guys, it really is important. We're at um, one hour 15 minutes. So, the, the reason that we did want to use all, you guys all to know about the different kind of witches are, so that you can take away from tonight, starting to think about what type of witch you are. What The most important one is, though, try and figure out why you're doing this, okay? Figure out what that you want to much. achieve by going down yeah. this lifestyle. Yeah. That is and then homework. figure you out from the ones that Sister Sherry's put up, what you think you are. We've got our emails on both of our Facebook, uh, on our YouTube channels. So if there is anybody that's not on Facebook, you can get us by email and send over what you write down. Because the homework, what we want mm -hmm. you to do is like what Sister Drew said, research and look into the forms of witchcraft that you think most element you from what I've read out tonight, okay? 
writing that down, writing down your reasons for wanting and why you think you might be a witch. So that's the drive to why you're going to be a witch. So like sister said, what's the reasons behind you wanting to be a witch? Is it because you love nature? Is it because you want to bring mm-hmm. something better to the world? Something like that. It's, you've got to have meanings to why you want to be a witch. Write a bit down about the elements that you may be fascinated to. It may not yes. necessarily mean that you've found the name of the witch yet, but you may find some elements that you like. And you could turn out to be a spiritual being that just does those elements, okay? But write down mm-hmm. the elements you're into, how your focus, how um, how you you know how you radiate to that practice. How you, reson- how you resonate you with which one, mm-hmm. and what you can bring to the practice. Yeah, you know what I mean? that's what you need to do. Yeah. And you can email that either to our emails that are on our channels. And Sister Drew was going to open a little Facebook page on Facebook for anyone that is on Facebook. And you could put your writing bits in there. And then yes. what I was thinking, and me and Sister Drew was thinking, is maybe having maybe an individual show or doing it Friday, but um, maybe going a little bit earlier or something and, and maybe reading out what you guys have said. If, yeah, you want to be shared. So it if you don't want it to be shared, but if, you, if you're okay with it being shared, we'll do that would talk to you but i thought that maybe having a separate thing for like the homework and for like the studying like when we start up doing the crafting and stuff so it's all separate yeah i think that'd be good yeah you know i mean so I've, we've already got like the what, plan what, group on facebook so if you yeah. even want to mail i'll put the link yeah so mail us either on facebook we'll get sister Drew will make up a chat for that okay or you can email us on our emails. They're on both of our um, profiles on our YouTubes, okay? Just come to there, put your homework there. Like I said, it's the different types of which um, areas you think you most suit, why you think you should be a witch, and what's brought you into wanting to be a witch. What's your drive to be a witch? Because normally anybody that knows being a witch is about wanting to do something good for our universe. Our, our universe okay so there's got to be an aspect behind what you've done even if it's something that you've traumatically gone through and experienced and got over and you want to bring it into your your craft things that drive you to be a better person and a better practitioner okay so that's what you've got to do elements yeah. of the, which you are and your drive to witchcraft and why you think you're for it yes And try and live each day putting in those three, which is happiness, integrity, and passion. Okay? Try and live a little bit like that each day. And slowly but slowly, guys, you will start to feel yourself changing. You will slowly feel yourself connecting. Pardon? Yeah? And kindness. Just try, guys. Honestly, you will love it. There's the witch. And kindness is important. Yes, kindness, yeah. guys. The only thing you want to you want to ask, guys, before tonight's show is finally is over. <laughs> it's finally over. The lobby sitting saying, oh "My God, it's over." <laughs> I'm all kidding. Uh, if That's there's anything you want to ask, guys, put it in the chat. Yeah, uh, anything you've got anything to say, guys? Yep. Yeah. Don't be You know what the you know what the educa- you know what the homework is this week. Next week is meditation. Next week's Witchy 101 show is meditation. I will be showing a meditation video that I've done where I spoke about what meditation is, different forms of meditation. I may even put five or ten minutes in there where we do a little short meditation class together on here just so that you guys can get used to it and I learn you how to do the breathing techniques and stuff. And there will be a specific reason to why I'm doing that because that's going to be what your homework is next week and it's about connecting with you spiritually, okay, and getting answers from doing your meditation. So that will be next week. There you go. The Facebook group is now in the chat, guys. If you all there want is, to go and join is. that, everybody that's want to spiritually connect, even if you don't want to connect, it's there, guys. Just go ahead and link that. It's called the Clan of the Mystical Realms, which is our clan group. So, you are added into that now. You aren't added into the private chat yet that's on WhatsApp, but you will get added to that maybe eventually if you keep going down the path and things, okay? Yeah, 
exactly yeah and if you haven't got that a way of getting on facebook then like we said just go to our emails on our youtube channels and do your bit in there we can still communicate with you that way most definitely yes. mr cool love and light dragon blood i it's uncle you. danny said it's in the legs and ostrich eggs what do you mean i'm a witch i'm just <laughs> Yummy, <laughs> yummy. I'll be right over. <laughs> 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 Put it up in the chat, Sas. Can you get blood? it? Dragon's blood and Felix, eyes of Get the link to the chat. Yeah. <laughs> you just need your bubbling cold drink. I even think that it is a spell with eyes of you and it that I've ever came across. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Phoenix, you're a moderator. You can put the link in the chat, sis. If you want to put Everyone that Everyone interested in doing you. the mountain meditation? Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Like, take a look at it, but don't get too deep into that yet. I'm going to love it, guys. Yeah. I think you should start off with Sister Sherry. She teaches you how to do it. A way back, I think she's actually got a playlist on it. So go over her channel, guys. Some of the people coming into this chat may not be familiar with meditation. Some of the people might not know how meditation goes. So if they went and looked at something as complicated as that, it may not do them very good. So it's best to just come to a couple of, you know, the class next week so they can understand what meditation is. Maybe look at a couple of my videos on my channel then maybe they can look into that because we're doing all of that sort of stuff later on down the line about helping each other helping people to get yeah. past that shadow side and stuff like that so we'll bring all of that in there around that time but yeah still put the link in most definitely but yeah, yeah just be careful don't try to do too much too quickly listen to it so that'll be for the ones that i yeah do it for the ones that's okay like so but for the new ones, this is that's for Sherry's guys. I advise you to do this one. Yeah, yeah, there's quite a few. Yeah. I've got meditation videos on, on my Perfect, channel, guys. There's quite a few. So, my advice going forward tonight is please that one's a really good one, guys. That's the one she did the other day, and honestly, that is the only one, as you know, I don't meditate as such. I'm more daydream, I can more manifest in my daydreams and i can't sit and down to meditate uh, but that is the see that one there i honestly is the only video only video only meditation that i've ever done that i've actually seen myself in my mind's eye walk through a valley and things and i felt as if i could see myself as a really celtic person i could see the background of myself and i could tell that i was like a celtic person so i definitely recommend you use that try and see if you can connect through that one it like i did yeah and if you can't go look on the other so my face for you all moving forward connects differently this week one of my other do the meditations yeah one of my other yes. meditation videos may connect to you not all meditation videos are for everybody you might connect to something else but try the one sister drew saying first if you can't connect to that there's other ones on my channel that you can try there's nature ones water ones um, higher self ones, chakra ones, yeah. all sorts. She's got a good voice to explain it. I think it sounds rather sexual. Yeah. When I, it sounds really and her nice. voice relaxes you guys. You, you, you. Hello and welcome to the meditation stream. I would like you to sit and relax. Yeah, you know, it's not perfect, it's like, sis. Honestly, you've got the good foot. You've got a good voice. For... You, Sherry, as long as you didn't say one eight hundred, Sherry. That's all good. Just <laughs> 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 Christina's put one in the chat as well, guys. She's put a meditation in chat as well. So if yeah. Sister Sherry's doesn't work, definitely check out Sister Christina's, okay? My Uncle Danny meditates by making coffee. <laughs> I can believe that, Uncle Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> I've had, I've actually had a lot of people that have actually come oh, over to me and said they really like. Look at those shows, your beautiful waterfalls. They can really, waterfall, they can really relate Christina. to my meditation. Hey, is there anything? I've had a lot of people like that. Yeah. 
She needs I, a nine hundred number. I've never been able to take myself away. I've done meditation money. before. I've actually got to, <laughs> to make money. Oh wow! <laughs> I've never really been able to take myself away in, in a meditation before. Before the other day, so it was really interesting for me to do that because I've never ever been able to do it before. And usually, I just fall into a meditation if I'm daydreaming. So. That was interesting for me. Oh, I wanted to tell you about my spiritual experience today that I've told nobody. Yeah. Right, so today I was talking to Sister Sherry, right? I was sitting talking to Sister Sherry here and we were just planning the show and things. I said, hey, Sister Sherry, I need to go because I need to go out. So I went away over to my friend's house and we were standing there and we were talking about... She has never had her tarot card read before. She's always saying to me, Andrina, I want you to do my cards and... We had fell out. The last time I'd seen her, we had fell out. So I kind of gave her a cuddle. And, and when I gave her a cuddle, I started to get really cold chills right down my arms, down my back. And I was like, oh, my God, man. I was like, you're giving me the cold chills. But I had recognised that cold chill for where I was doing a reading last week. And the lady that I was reading for, I was sitting there, and I kept getting cold chills down my back with her. And I think guys that are starting to really connect to actual spirits now so I, I i kept cuddling her to feel her energy to see if i could get more off her so the more i was cuddling her the more i was connecting and getting more chilly as i was going but i tried i did figure out that it was an old energy that was around her it felt like a grandmother energy so it's going to be really interesting i was talking to her after it and i was saying maybe if i held your hands that i could maybe get more so, guys, that was really interesting for me. I've never been able to channel like that before, so I thought it was really amazing. The chills I was getting was unbelievable. I had to walk out, and I was getting all the chills off my arms, and I kept having to shake it off. Opening, it was amazing, so. honestly. It's because you're, op it's because you're opening. Yeah. Like, you're doing all of this stuff. You're doing all this spiritual is. work. You're doing everything they want you to do, so they're slowly opening to you. That's what they're doing, isn't it? Cause that's what you that's need why to do. now she can yeah she can start sensing when there's yeah. spirits around when yeah. she does her paranormal investigation and everybody's ability is cool. not everybody's going to be able to yeah. see and hear spirits yeah. some people yeah. will just be able to feel it or they might get a vision it's not everybody that's got ability sees a spirit standing in front of them or talking directly in their ear people get that wrong yeah I'm there's concerned. so many forms and ways that they communicate so many ways Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys, so it just shows I'm growing as well. We're all growing in different ways. Yes, it's amazing. I hope that you all I hope you all start telling other people about these classes. I reckon she's gonna open up. I feel as if they're always being ghost hunters. I reckon once she comes down to the show, like imagine when Mrs. Sherry visited me, as Turnt Man said when they've gone home, since I met Sherry, for some reason I've opened. It's mad. I just have that energy because of nature and stuff like that. It's weird. Yeah. People have said that they open when they come around me. So I reckon she'll go back to play. I need to bloody see them or something. What the hell was that? That's just walked past me. Like, yeah. I'm seeing them as well. I've always been able to see them. Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. I drew says, whoop. <laughs> and we are going to do some really, really Well, it's cute definitely happening, guys. It'll down. definitely be in January. We're gonna we're gonna channel our energy. It's gonna together, be great. So honestly, I can't wait. It's just because it's Christmas and things. Yes. yes. So yes, yeah. definitely, guys. So that no matter where your sister share is in the world, no matter where I am in the world, we will always have our jars, and we'll always have the jars. And to us, the jars will be each other. So whenever I left my yeah. jar to me, it'll be sister share, and I will honour it forever. Yeah, oh. I think we should make a nice little jar or something Tell down them. there. I'm sorry, you were going to take it to my, yeah. my favourite area yeah. well, down there, my favourite yeah. nature place where oh, I yeah. connect and where I see all the fae and stuff like that. I'm going to take her to that area so she can get a feel for it. She'll love it. Yeah, cool. That's cool. I can't even. Yeah. I, th I think it'll be good. Yeah. Bye, Kathy. Night, Kathy. Blessings. Love and light. Merry yeah, it'll be really good, guys. So. What's it? Uh, to see what Christina said. Blessings, sister. Whatever, yes, some have bad memories, but I'm glad. Yeah, there is a lot of uh, energies that I think I'll probably feel that I'll probably not like as much, but they have to come as well, don't they? But you learn to deal with that and you learn how to deal with them when they're like that. So you kind of. So is there anything you want to Yes. 
See, I've always felt, I've always felt people's emotions. I've always been able to feel, as soon as somebody walks into my house or something, I've always kind of felt their emotions. I've always took on that emotion and maybe even tried to change their <laughs> emotion, if you know what I mean, by cheering them up or trying to make them feel happy about themselves. You like the parts of this. So I've always tried to do that. But now I'm actually starting to feel like the spirits and the emotions of them. So it's amazing to me, guys. So just remember, we're all growing together. We don't all know everything. She looks the part, guys, doesn't she? My <laughs> mist is waiting out there to take me back to Hogwarts. She's hovering there waiting. <laughs> you fit the part, part perfect. Do, 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 do. Off she goes. Yeah, she's hovering in the hallway. <laughs> is it a witch or is it Mary Poppins? <laughs> do, na, 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 na. <laughs> so says, just don't put an umbrella. <laughs> <Mary Poppins. laughs> Where's your wee bag, the carpet bag? <laughs> I said that again. Yeah. There's a bag. <laughs> She's wanted to tell them what next week's show is about, Sister Shira. Yeah, so next week's show, obviously do the homework, <laughs> guys, so, and send that over to us. But next week's show is going to be where we do talk about meditation. I'm going to have a video that I've done on my channel. We're going to show the video instead of us having to talk all the way through it. So we're going to do the video. Then if you've got any questions to ask about meditation, you can. I was thinking maybe to do a five or ten minute meditation because it's on my channel i don't really care if they don't like me playing the music they don't do anything to me so we'll do it a five ten minute meditation at the end to get you guys used to it and then we'll tell you what the homework and stuff is so next week is meditation and understanding it and being able to get you connected spiritually cool yes i think that that'd be that'd be a good one they're all oh, going yeah. to be awesome shows. It's us three. Come on. <laughs> and the sisters. Yeah. And the yeah, only guys, reason we talk good. over each other is yeah. there's a delay, guys. We're not being rude to each other. <laughs> We're getting better at it. Definitely not being rude. It's just called them um, having so a So I hope you're enjoying the shows. <clears throat> Yeah, we're just, guys, we're all a human. We, we, we do mistakes as well. Talking over each other and things is not a big deal, in my opinion. Talk when you want to talk, and that's just that, you know. It works yeah. out. It's no big deal. Uh, so next it's week, we'll be Sherry's uh, channel, guys. We are going to go back and forward. So, yes, that's it. It's like we're all passionate people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. And remember, there is so, a, yeah. a playlist Maybe going up, so anybody can get the playlist and my channel, Sister Sherry's channel. So, sorry, Mystic, what are you saying, sis? Mine's is echoing. I was, just, I was just telling Evie, thank you. She said, this is fantastic, Drew, Sherry, and Rochelle. So I was just Thank you, darling. Thank you. That's what we want you to do. We want you to enjoy it as well. Thank we don't you. want you to come here and think, oh, my God, yeah, we've got to be serious. We want you to enjoy it. The whole point of doing the craft is to enjoy it. You do have to enjoy the craft as, as it will just long you yes. out. Yes. You have to. So next week on my on my channel, it then really the week is after just we'll about sharing each three. other's journeys and companies. Yeah. So guys, if there's nothing else you want to say, I'm going to let Mystical go back into the heat because my little sister is frozen. My yes, toes are frozen and I have on shoes. Well, I've actually, you're older than here. me, Mystical, so you're my big sister. What? <laughs> Mystical's my big sister, but we're all equal, really, aren't we? We're all equal. I'm saying, I said my wee exactly. sister, but you're my yeah. big sister. <laughs> right, everybody, I'm going to play the intro before I get into trouble. <laughs> I hope you like uh, the outro, right, Okay, we'll play the outro. Thank you for coming, everybody. Blessings. Right, let's let wait you see, see the outro. Mary Potting. Wait yeah. you see the outro. Right, let's play it. And thank you, Chris, for making the intro now to the followers. I appreciate it. Right, let's do this. She's off in a broom. Up, 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 up